The Arabian Desert, over two million square kilometers of sand and undulating dunes. It's one of the hottest places on Earth, but it's not quite the untouched wilderness it once was. Many camels that live here give rides to tourists looking for a taste of Arabian adventure. Some live on farms, but far more roam wild. Scavenging for food, they eat whatever they can find, including the increasing amount of rubbish, which is finding its way into the desert, either blown here on the wind or simply dumped. And all too often, this is now becoming the end result. Now, this is a 12 kilogram lump of calcified, undigested litter, mainly made up of tin cans, plastic bags, and old pieces of rope. And it was cut from the stomach of a camel, which died a very slow and a very painful death. Some experts now estimate that half of the region's camels are at risk because of the increasing amount of litter finding its way into the desert. And six years ago, that news prompted an eight-year-old boy from South Africa living in Abu Dhabi with his parents to do something about it. Since then, Cameron's campaign has grown beyond his wildest dreams, but its aims still remain the same, to keep the desert free from litter and save camels in the process. Um, firstly, we're going to go to my school and we're going to go meet up with some friends that are going to be coming with us on a trip to the desert. We're going to go out there and we're going to pick up some litter. Today's pickup is a typical one. Schoolmates, expats and locals, all volunteers, happy to donate their time and effort to help Cameron with his campaign. Yeah, okay, someone help me get these bags out. Um, what I might find is uh, ropes, cans, mostly plastic. Um, we're also looking for wood, uh, nails, iron, anything that's metal. Um, for example, like this, plastic. Now this, this, see, it's a good example here. It normally catches onto um, a shrub like this, and the camels eat it like that. Once eaten, indigestible rubbish like this tricks camels into thinking they're full, so they stop eating and then often starve to death. What started as a school project quickly became a high-profile campaign. Cameron was first recognized for his work back in 2008, when he became the youngest ever recipient of the Abu Dhabi Awards. That exposure encouraged more young people to get involved. They bring along their friends to the pickups, and Cameron's campaign grows bigger every year. It's um, mostly plastic, plastic bottles. I uh, found some just random papers. We didn't have any idea what it would be like, so this is kind of a shock to us. Leading local personalities and media are now backing Cameron's campaign, including Ali Al Saloum, who thinks it's down to everyone who lives on the fringes of the desert to take personal responsibilities for their actions. For someone to put down the window and throw a trash, rest sure this doesn't represent anything but how he acts at his home. Uh, when I did a desert cleanup once, I saw a massive camel dead there, and you could just see the plastic, uh, like 60 kilo plastic, just lying down. I can't stand looking at something that, that horrible. Collect, 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 get in your groups and go. I really love the idea of people coming into the desert and having fun, but in, at the end of the day, you've got to keep your litter. I promised His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed Al Nahyan, the Crown Prince of Abu Dhabi, that I would not stop until the camel stopped dying. I'm never going to stop. Cameron's dream is to bring down the number of camel deaths caused by littering, and that one day, every litter bin in the UAE will carry one of his campaign stickers. To do that, he needs to find a sponsor. But with or without financial backing, he's committed to carrying on. I still remember how our father of the nation, Sheikh Zayed, you know, all what he wanted to do is to give the human being a dignity to live in a very respectful uh, uh, you know, environment, and uh, inshallah, we have more of Camerons, and uh, and he becomes an inspiration for everybody. Save the camels!